What's up everyone out there in YouTube land? It's me, Perry Love Whistle. And as you can see, I'm back on Zaner in Project 1999 Green. And you can also see that I am sporting the BFG. That's right, it's not just sitting in my bag anymore, only to be pulled out for raid mobs. It is my daily driver, and that is because it happened. I finally got my Tolan's Darkwood Bracer. I did end up having to spend 12k on it. For some reason, they're becoming very popular and expensive now. But I got one, which means unlimited ammo. Now, it does take a little bit of time to cast, so it's not like I can just crank these out real easily. And I have done one XP group where I was primarily using my BFG, and I basically never got to sit down. We'd kill something, and then I'd start casting. But the summoned arrows, I didn't realize this, they're actually not the same as the super cheap arrows you buy uh, from the archery vendors. They're actually damage 3, range 50. Not amazing, but it's actually, I thought it was going to be 1 in 25. I haven't, I never actually clicked on a summoned arrow before and realized that this isn't just unlimited ammo, it's actually better than what I've been using. So, anyhow, I'm going to try and find an XP group to take advantage of this. The other thing that's important to realize, uh, the main reason why the BFG is so good is, or for rangers, is because when a mob is not moving and not rooted, you do double damage, which effectively makes this a 40-50 weapon. But as I discovered last night when we were fighting Lord Viam in TOV... Off. Go patch him off now. One, zero. Go patch him off now. Yes. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Ranger bumps. The permanently rooted dragons, at least the ones in TOV, that counts as a root, which means that the BFG is actually not my ideal DPS for those dragons. Which means, as excited as I was to bank my Night Growth Blade, it looks like I'm actually going to be pulling it back out and continuing to use it, at least on them. But on that note, it's time for me to see if I can't find a XP group to take advantage of this BFG and uh, get some good footage of me killing just regular mobs with the amazing DPS I get out of this machine. Well, it seems to be impossible for me to get a group this morning, at least on short notice. So, now that I've got this amazing new equipment, I'm going to see what the chances are that I can kill one of these Drolvargs just by face tanking it. Not exactly expecting success here, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a close call if I win this one. Oh, I got a friendly heal from somebody else. I don't think I was going to get that solo anyway, so thank you, Healsome, for coming in and rescuing me. 
but it looks like I need to be headed back inside, uh, back to the LFG pile. Well, it looks like I did manage to get a group. We are working our way back to the captain camp. Uh, unfortunately, I am the tank in this group, so we'll see how well this goes. We do have a proper cleric healer who has a an epic when for when I inevitably die. Well, it seems like while I'm tanking, and while we don't have either an enchanter or a shaman in the group, I need to have my epic on for the slow proc, which also gives me some aggro. As much as this was supposed to be the day celebrating my BFG unlimited ammo, it looks like it's going to be a day of normal XPing with the lightning swords. Still not too bad though. Well now I'm in a full group with a proper tank, so I don't have to be the tank, but we do have a magician who is using the earth pet. And earth pets root, which is great for CC and just control of a bunch of mobs in general, but it also means that I won't be using the BFG. So it looks like as excited as I was to do an awesome video where I just do a lot of BFG killing, I am doomed to keep the lightning swords up. So big props to the Bard Logitech, who is pulling swarms and kiting them around in the basement while we pull off mobs one at a time and kill them. This is, I don't know. It, I hope this isn't a violation of some rule in Project 1999 because it seems incredibly overpowered. Uh, and then once they their health gets down really low and we don't have to risk uh, him losing aggro, our mage is AOEing them and we are getting crazy amounts of XP uh, very efficiently. This is a really good group. Thank you, everybody. Well, what was supposed to be a video showcasing the BFG with unlimited ammo ended up being uh, just a really good XP group. That was kind of OP. I doubt I'm going to get a group that works that well again. And I ended up getting about half a gold bubble in, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. So that was really good for level 56. But as awesome as it is, my Tolan Starkwood Bracer is not the only thing that I am announcing today. You may have noticed below this video, there's been some t-shirts and coffee cups scrolling by. That is the official Perry Love Whistle merch store. I just uploaded some designs to Teespring and got a basic store open. So if you want to support the channel more than just liking the video and subscribing and commenting below, you can swing by and scoop up a t-shirt or a sticker or a coffee cup with one of my designs on it. I have one of Just Mikey, my logo, and then another one commemorating Zayner's greatest pastime of dying. And since my channel is still nice and small, I've decided to do a promo code for everybody who is already a fan. So you can use the promo code OG Perry to get a discount for just the next couple of weeks. But since I don't really have any big utility gear to buy on Zayner, this is probably going to be the last Zayner video until he gets to level 60, which is something that I've been hounded about by the other rangers in my guild. So it's going to be a lot of engrosser videos and maybe some other videos until then. So until next time, bye.